I'm Joe Catherine Quinn. I'm the Director of Housing Services at Caritas of Austin. We provide services actually in homelessness prevention to keep people from falling into homelessness, um, which is basically emergency assistance paired with case management, um, short and long-term case management. As well, we have housing programs for the homeless. We operate um, 93 uh, units of permanent housing and 20 units of transitional housing. I know that the vast majority of the clients that we see at Caritas for, uh, that are in a housing crisis and that we are working with in a homeless prevention program, number one, they are single moms primarily, and number two, they are working uh, for low wages. Uh, they are trying to raise their family, take care of their family. They're trying to get childcare. They're trying to rent an apartment, um, maybe on $7.50 an hour. And they're doing it alone without another caregiver in the home. And so you can only imagine what the stress on that family is. And so something's got to give. Even if a single mom is making $10 an hour, if she has to miss two days work because a child is sick, then her budget is blown for the entire month. And that's when we see people, is when they've had the tiniest little thing that has happened that has interrupted their income. A common misperception of homelessness is that um, homeless people are people that don't want to work, they're lazy, uh, and the reality is that many homeless people are working. And uh, in a place like Austin where the cost of housing is so high, it is possible to work a 40 hour a week job and not have enough money to afford housing here. The living wage here in Austin is over $11 an hour. So if you're not making that, you can't make it. Caritas uh, benefits from anyone's donation, no matter what the size it is because um, even if it's a small donation, we know that we have a supporter uh, for the cause. And one of the myths about homelessness that I think irritates me the most is the myth that homelessness is somehow uh, this inevitable social problem that we can't solve and that we're just going to have to learn to live with. And I don't believe that. I remember a time in our country when we didn't have very many visible homeless on the streets. And I believe that we can um, turn our conditions uh, back or move them forward, however you would like to look at it, to create the conditions yet again in our communities so that people aren't falling into homelessness. And we can make our community, a, a, a community where homelessness is rare and non-recurring.